Hello everybody and welcome to Notorious Hugo. I'm Notorious Cly and we have our Six Samurai live duel with commentary video. You guys know the drill. We're going to play three duels and I am going to explain my poor decisions live in real time while dueling. Let's not waste any time. There's the deck if you're interested in seeing uh, more of the deck or having an in-depth explanation over why I chose the cards I chose to play. Please let me know in the comments and I'll happily do a deck profile for it. Without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it and go for duel number one. Alright, and our first opponent is going to be playing Declan. And they're at Legend 5. They don't have a win streak going, at least none that I can see, so I don't have to worry about being the spoiler that kills their King of Games run. So, one of the strengths of Six Samurai is the fact that with United, you can just draw your entire deck. So you don't have to play a ton of non-engine... Um, disruption cards you can just draw into them so we're gonna do this right now we're gonna go Kazaru and then Dojo get Fuma Synchro for the man uh, we should probably do United first in case we draw into another United like so so we can go ahead and summon Shien and put a Bushido counter on that bad boy and we're gonna keep Shien out of the EMZ in case we want to end up link summoning somewhere in the near future and do we risk it for the biscuit? Because if we summon Kizan, use United, draw into a dual wield. We shut off dual wield because we control more than one monster. Well, more than one face up attack position, six anime monster. So, and uh, don't have anything to go into. I mean, we can go Roach. Yeah, let's do that. Let's special Kizan. We'll find another way to get another six Sam on board. And we did the thing I didn't want to do. Oh, we did the thing I didn't want to do. Because I'm a loser. And we've got nothing to do. I forgot that legendary secret. I knew that legendary secret wouldn't be able to special summon itself. Because this is not a six, uh, secret six. It's a legendary six. What are you going to do? This is my first time playing six samurai in probably years. If not years, over a year. This was one of the first decks I built... I mean, I think I just have to use the Shien here, right? Let's double check dual wield. What does dual wield say? If the only monster you control. I might as well just keep it up in attack position to make it harder to out. Okay, there was no way around that interaction. They were going to snipe it regardless. And now that I think about it, um, this would not have gone any differently if I just went Shien pass because they would have been able to threaten book and then snipe. They just have the hand. What can you do? People, sometimes they just have the hand. And if they get to go full combo, I'm pretty sure they just win here. Was there anything I could have done to play differently? I don't think so. I think normal Kazaru was the right move. Grab Fumo was the right move. Unless I just forego Shien and try to max out the counters on Dojo to get another four and go with Roach. By the way, I think this one might be in the bag. Swirl Slime is kind of a problem. And DDD is probably a bad matchup for 6am, because 6am notably has a very hard time getting over big monsters, and uh, DDD is all big monsters, that's all they are. Okay, they can go into rank 7 here, unless there's something restricting them that I'm not aware of. Yeah, let's do that. Yep. Let's do that, preserve our life points. Legendary. Uh, Rota. What can we get with Rota? You need to be able to remove big monsters. You need to be able to remove big monsters. So I think Kizan is the right move. With normal Inishi. Special Kizan. We can use. 
Nishi effect. Banish. We want to keep the Puma in Grave. I think we want to keep the Puma in Grave. Now nah, let's just banish those two. Bounce. Hiking Gang just puts it back in the extra. Do we want to put it in... Yeah, let, we have to put it back in the extra. I'm making... Try and force it out. And then we can go... Arc Rebellion. Or we can just clean house and then try to flex the Anishi quick effect. I think that might be the move, because Dark Rebellion doesn't interact with them on their turn, and I need to speed this up. So we're going to go Tidal Mines, Battle Phase, Kizan into the Kepler, do some damage, Anishi into the Newton, clear that, and then we need to use Anishi's Bounce wisely. Okay, so they're not going to pay life points here, which is fine. Any restrictions? What are you doing? Add a DDD. It's fine. No phase restrictions on Anishi, so I can wait for them to go to battle phase if I need to. I just have to make sure that Kizan stays up. Okay, grab Night Owl. It's fine. I mean, I could have bounced that, and then they don't get a Synchro 10 if they have a Synchro 10. Okay, hi, King Alexander. Uh, does not matter. Okay, yep, we're gonna bounce here. Go to battle phase. I need to see you threaten battle phase. Anishi. Yep. No, don't run out to the timer. Alright, there we go. That one was a little closer than I would have liked, but still got the W in the end. Not bad for my first time playing Six Salmon in a while. A very long time. And thank you for playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Alright, so we got the rank up. We're now at Legend 2, and we are 1-0. Let's go for duel number 2. I got me. Okay. No idea what this could be. 24 cubic seeds. Okay, uh, we definitely know now it's cubics. That should be interesting. It should be very interesting. I don't know if I ever finished my thought from the last duel, but to continue my trip down memory lane, uh, Six Samurai was one of the first decks I'd ever built in Duel Links. First deck was Super Heavy Samurai, then Six Samurai, you could say I have a type, and then I went for Red Eyes. I fell for the the Duel Links noob trap, everybody. I, uh, I built Red Eyes, and this was pre Fangu Chain and all that stuff. Okay, set three is worrisome, but we're gonna see if we can bait some of that out. We're gonna go United. We're gonna go United. We're gonna go, do we wanna go Dojo right away? I think we go Dojo, just to start getting counters on there. We normal the Puma. Special Kizan. Ooh, what do they have? Bottomless? Okay, that's fine because we're gonna draw like half of our deck here. Okay, we're gonna draw another two until we hit something. And on all that, we drew four cards and we didn't get anything. Um, okay. That's fine. We'll just go ties that bind and poke you for 300 damage. Probably a mistake because they have something activatable. Is this a mirror force? Keep it consention. Oh. I didn't know about ascension. That's fine. That just negates the effect. And it also can't attack, right? Monster with a cubic counter cannot attack, also negate their effects. That's fine because Fuma doesn't really have any effects on field that we're worried about. Because the destroyed by battle or card effect should happen in grave. So my biggest concern here is if they go uh, big old triple attack, we're in trouble. But if they're just gonna play like a stall out game plan, I think we're okay. Okay, dual wield is fine. But I think we need to start trying to put some pressure on them. But how do I do that in a way? 
place her on back row. So I think we normal Fuma, which triggers legendary secret, gets a Shien that puts puts four counters on there. Okay, they have something chainable. I don't know what it could be. We need to go Shien with the Fuma that is cubic counters. I think we go, do we go EMZ? Because we can go this Nightmare Phoenix, drop back row, and that puts them at zero back row. I think I like that. I think I like putting them at zero back row. I shouldn't have summoned the EMZ in that case. Shan is also a soft once per turn, so I can use Shan's effect if I have multiple copies. So the move might just be to go to Shien. And then don't attack until I can... Clear the, the uh, V-Jom. And I just realized that Inishi uh, is no longer... Um, limited to two with dojo which means I can get another copy from deck and just bounce the Dijon and I have she end up which means I can blank one of their back row okay let's read if this is a bait let's not just click yes should be number of cubic counters and face up monsters up to the number of cubic monsters you control cannot attack also negate their effects uh, and this is a force so we have to use she on here because we can't afford to not bounce the Dijon so we need it to go to hand, so we can make a, another Shein and swing for game. Two Shein. This Shein can still activate to blank the last back row. I believe I know how to read problem solving card text. Okay, Ascension. There you go, look at that. It's a soft one to return. Deck. And what do you have? You have a V-Jam in. Oh, Ascension has a graveyard effect. Whoops, guess I should have read a little bit more. Yeah, that happens. Um, we're not going to read a Claire. Nope, I am not dumb enough to attack your V-Joms. And good news, we have the Anishi in hand for follow-up. We can bounce one. How do we remove the second one? And possibly third one. Ooh. Okay, Duza. What are they gonna mill? Karma. Right now, I'm not feeling too good about this because we're playing into the grind game, and that's Cubic Specialty. Okay, Crimson Nova. What do I have to stop Crimson Nova? They just go in all in on Crimson Nova. Ooh, Buster Gundel. <laughs> okay, they destroy one of the Xi'an. That's fine. Can we dual wield here? No, because they need to have two cards. Oh, they played it perfectly. Oh, they played it perfectly. That's fine. Um, what else could I have done differently? I can't really think of anything. If somebody notices what I could have done differently, um, let me know. Also, tag the Cubic Guru and tell him to tell me what I fucked up. He'll know. If anybody would know, Cubes would know. Alright, we're 1-1. One one. Let's go. Duel number 3 and see if we can end this video on a high note. We have Yuya. Could be anything. Could be PK. Could be Odd Eyes. Could literally be anything. Starting hand's not bad. We have access to Shien. Access to Shien. Crackdown. They're on. Okay, click around a little bit. They're on Odd Eyes. Just make sure. Mm -hmm. I like those card sleeves. The H heated heart. Those look tight. They look good with my uh, 
lava mat. What are you guys gonna do? Okay, so you can make Synchro 7, a rank 4. This is a whole lot of text I need to read. Nothing. Okay, so they can only Synchro Dragon 7. Okay, that's Negate, um, Light Monster. Do I have a Light Monster? Shane's Dark. An Ishii. I guess that's something. Okay, Meteor Burst. Special Summon it. Okay, so they can go for another rank 7 here. Okay, so they got a pop. And negate a light. And that's it. And what is it? Target one face up card on the field, destroy it. Okay, uh, what's the move here? Dojo? How do I play around the pop of the face up card? So I go Fuma. Uh, yeah, normal Fuma is fine. Right? Or is the move to normal Anishi? So if I go normal Anishi, add a counter on Dojo. What does Xi'an get me though? Xi'an with tie set binds, uh, tie, a tie that binds gets me over any one of these. So that's fine. So Anishi, put them in the spot where they have to either pop Dojo or pop Anishi. And if they do, Kizan works as an extender. Whereas if I go normal Fuma, I think Fuma works the same way, right? Though, because I normal Fuma with a counter on Dojo, they have to pop either one. A special Kizan. They would just wait for the special Kizan. So I think Inishi, normal Inishi, is the correct move. So that gives me the flexibility to get into a rank 4 still. So I need to make them burn their pop. Because the negate the light of monsters effect doesn't matter. So they're going to let it ride. So we're going to go dojo. Fuma. Might as well go in defense. The end doesn't do anything, but we can just go, they're going to wait, they're patient, okay, they're very patient, very, very, very patient here, it's good on them. See, I synchro, five. Doesn't do anything. Nothing on the pendulum effect. Okay. What's popping? That's fine. That's fine because we're just going to. Synchro Shien. I guess we can go EMZ, we can stay out of EMZ, we'll stay out of EMZ in case we want a Phoenix later. We'll set the crackdown. Tie that binds. And we're gonna go after let's make sure this doesn't do anything. Discard battles on opponent's monster, that's fine. And third one, my answer. Okay, cool. Let's just walk over that, do hundred. Go to end phase. And then we'll steal whatever threatens us, and then they don't have the pop to get rid of crackdown. That's fine. I'm going to negate that with Xian and keep my crackdown live. 
I'm gonna wait until you threaten me with something, and then I'm gonna steal it with Crackdown. And then I can always, yeah, that that'll do it. So we'll do Crackdown. Steal your Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. You should crash. I know it's scary to crash, but you should crash. You should definitely crash. And we're gonna do this. We're gonna normal Fuma. Legendary. Um, I can't attack with the odd eyes. But I can link it off. Oh, it's level four. That's nice. It's very nice. I could synchro with it. Oh, uh, no, no, no. We need a non-tuner 6 ham. Um, I need to put 39 on board. Just go play safe. Let's go Shien. Give myself some interaction. There might have been a line to lethal, but I can't figure it out. Let's make him beat us with one card, and if it's a spell or a trap, we're gonna blank it. Yep, you don't get to have scales. Okay, there it is. Couldn't find the quick line to lethal at the end there, but still managed to pull out the victory. Not bad, not bad at all. That's going to do it for today's video, everybody. I'll see you on the next one, and until then, be safe, have fun.